So if you've been watching the mainstream media, you've been seeing MSNBC and Fox News go back and forth in their little circle jerk, avoiding all the real issues. Earlier, uh, Janine Garofalo was on with Keith Olbermann, and she was accusing all the tea baggers or tea party participants of being racist, as if there was no other reason that they could be protesting taxes or not like Obama other than because he's black. Please. We need to tell the right and left wing tribal idiots to stick it. The Tea Parties are not about blaming just one wing of the party. It's about stopping the whole system, killing the Fed, and ending the unjust wars for Israel. We can't let right wing idiots attach their faces to a grassroots movement that has been in the works for years. The original concept of the Tea Party was for Ron Paul, and it was about taxation without representation. We don't want to pay taxes that are being used to finance trillion dollar wars that we never wanted to start with. Sure, we don't want bailouts either and we hate Obama too, but that in no way means that we fell for the McCain bullshit of calling Obama the Antichrist or a secret Muslim as if being Muslim would even matter. Or in Janine's case, racism. Is this all the liberals have left to use? Are they so desperate? that they're trying the Israeli tactic of claiming anyone against them is a racist. Obama is continuing all of Bush's wars and then some, and the liberals don't know how to digest that. We had all these cultists that were supporting Obama so hard with hope, change, believe, hope, change, and there isn't any change. We're still in Iraq, we're still in Afghanistan, he actually doubled the size of the war in Afghanistan, and he's been bombing Pakistan too. Nothing has happened, and he's been bailing out billionaires, he kept the Patriot Act, he's kept NAFTA, and he won't go after the CIA, he's been torturing people all over the world, he's not going to prosecute them. And they don't really know what to do, because they have so much ego invested in the left and hating Bush, that even though somebody's in there doing the exact same policies, they can't psychologically cope with that. They think he's different. And most of all, he spent over $4 trillion in four months and has done nothing to stimulate the economy. All he did was made money tight and bailed out billionaires so that they could keep their way of life. Fuck Obama, and fuck Fox News, and fuck religious theocons. Obama has as much in common with the country bumpkin religious right-wing moron as any other neocon does. The man speaks like a preacher. He isn't even capable of talking like a normal human being. He constantly makes religious references, and he's a whore to the Israeli lobby, announcing after winning the primary that Jerusalem would be the undivided capital of Israel. Our signs should read, No Republicrats. Death to both parties. Fuck the Fed, fuck Fox News, and fuck left race card bullshit. This is about freedom and justice. We don't want any more wars, and we don't want to bail out billionaires. We want to end the Fed, end the wars, and cut taxes to help Main Street. Gene, weren't you so anti-war back in the day, and now what? A non-white is doing the same thing, so suddenly it's okay? Could not people hate Barack Obama for the same reasons as they hated Bush? Stupid cunt. Oberman, grow up. I'm pretty sick of all the sexual innuendos about teabags. The only nut-sucking guys here are the people at NBC sucking the left nut and the people at Fox News sucking the right nut. You guys are the nut suckers, you tribalist fucking retards. Bush started all these wars and started a bailout. Obama is continuing all the wars and expanding it and has given multiple bailouts and a spending package that he calls a stimulus package. It's the same shit. It has nothing to do with Bush being white or Obama being black. It has to do with over a million people getting killed and trillions of our dollars being spent on unnecessary, unjust, immoral wars and to bail out the gambling habits of Wall Street tycoons and banksters. You people don't get it. It's not left versus right. That whole paradigm, it's not fascism versus communism either. It's freedom versus fascism. The economic model is not communist, it's not capitalist, it's just a corporate oligarchy. There are elements of communism in it because they are using the state to control industry and there's elements of crony capitalism in it. It's all corrupt. It doesn't matter what you call it. They are all out to fuck over the common man. The rich are slaughtering the poor. Literally sending poor people out to fight other poor people. 
You're stealing your money through taxes and through borrowed money from the Fed, which you have to pay with inflation, which is just another tax. And they're laughing about it. And all the people on the news can do is make jokes about nut sucking and claiming that anyone that protested our taxes being used in these unjust and moral ways must be a racist. They just don't like Obama because he's black. That's the most pathetic thing. And, and to sit there and call yourself an intellectual and all these people are just dumb rednecks, Janine Garofalo can go fuck herself. Fuck you, Janine. You're a goddamn idiot. You're an over-socialized, leftist, elitist prick. You're a fucking idiot. You might be smarter than some dumb redneck, but if you cannot see that all the policies that Bush was doing that you hated, and I heard you talk about the lies about the war in Iraq, they're being continued by Obama and the Democrats, and they were being continued by them before Bush was out of office. The Democrats had charge of Congress, and they gave him more money to spend on the war than the Republicans did. Don't let these right-wing fuckheads and left-wing fuckheads label the Tea Party as being pro-right-wing. It isn't. It's our forefathers that threw the tea in the Boston Harbor did it because of taxation without representation, and they wanted to elect their own representatives. That's what it was about. They were our libertarians and constitutionalists. We know that because they wrote the Constitution, and they wanted minimal government. The Hamiltonians, all through Lincoln up to the neocons of the day, there's no difference between Obama and Bush. There's no difference between McCain and Hillary. Nothing. They have the same foreign policy, same monetary policy, and they don't care about you. And you goddamn tribal fucking retards are just have so much entrenched on whatever ch side you chose that you cannot see. It's like religion. You know, a religious idiot can apply science and history to all the other religions to say why they're wrong and why leprechauns and unicorns and things don't exist. But when it comes to their own religion, with the giants and the witches and the demons and angels and all the ridiculous bullshit that they believe in, that is somehow shielded from logic. And that's what it's like listening to some liberal or some conservative dumbass just spouting off and probably correctly saying all the bad things about the other party and not realizing that they have much of the same bullshit. Fuck you, Janine.